I, Nehemiah, stationed some of the people behind the lowest points of the wall at the exposed places, posting them by families with their Glocks, their AR-15s, their AK-47s. Verse 14, after I looked things over, I stood up and said to the nobles, the officials and the rest of the people, do not be afraid of them, for greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Amen. Do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome and fight for your brothers, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. Can I get an amen? amen. And when our enemies heard that we were aware of their plot and that, turn, and that God had frustrated it, we all returned to the wall, each to his own work. But from that day on, half my men did the work while the other half were equipped with rocket launchers, grenades. Spears, shields, bows, and armor. The officers post themselves behind all the people of Judah who were building the wall. Those who carried materials did their work with one hand and held a weapon in the other. And each of the builders wore his sword at his side as he worked. But the man who sounded the trumpet stayed with me. See, I told you Donald Trump was in there. I think it's amazing. I think it's spiritually, symbolically amazing that with this philosophical turnaround in our nation, it's been marked in the first week by rebuilding a wall. Now, we never had a wall, so you say, we're not rebuilding. No, we're building a wall, but we're rebuilding the border security. Isn't that, boy, that's spiritually symbolic. Do you see that? Wow. Wow. All the walls and borders we have violated in America, teaching our little children they come from monkeys and that there is no God. Do you reckon we violated a border? Amen. For a hundred years we've thrown that in God's face. And now there's a wall being rebuilt. Well, I'm going to close this message, but I'm going to implore you. Be a part of the wall building that needs to go on in this nation now. And I, I don't mean going down the border and picking up a shovel. If God leads you to do that, go ahead and do that. But I'm talking about there are some walls and some gates that need to be rebuilt and restored in our own homes, in our marriages, in our families, among the lives of our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren. Can I get an amen? In our, give the Lord a hand. Go ahead. In our culture, there are walls and gates that need to be rebuilt. In our churches... There are walls and gates that need to be built and or rebuilt in our own lives. You have violated borders. I have violated borders. We need to repent like Nehemiah did and then take a shovel, a spiritual shovel, and some mortar and start rebuilding those walls and closing those gates that we left open for the demonic to come in. Amen? Amen. And you can rest assured... That as we, we rebuild the walls of our country, the globalists, the leftists, the ones aligned themselves with Satan who spit on the Word of God, they will spit in our face. But we must never fear. We must keep building. We must keep to the task to which God has called us. Give the Lord a hand of praise right there. The same goes for the church. The same goes for your life. The same goes for my life. The same goes for this church. And we will endeavor to do that here under my leadership and the leadership of all of the leaders in this church and the people here that are just godly men and women. We will do that. We will keep our borders secure here. Spiritual, biblical, and physical borders as well. Amen? We're living in prophetic times. The globalists are raging. The godless are going out of their minds. The leftists are scurrying for safe spaces, melting like snowflakes. And Satan is howling. Because he knows his time is short. I don't know what's around the corner. But I know who holds the corner in his hand. And I know that we have been raised up for such a time as this.